Yeah, I think I think economics is sort of, as you said, it's woken up late to the, uh, you know, to the fact that there's there's a problem, and um, and I think it really does come down to this issue of we just don't have enough women studying uh, economics uh, in the UK, and that that share of, of female students has you know is has gone in the wrong direction in in recent years, and I think when you look at what's happened with other STEM subjects you know sort of 10 years ago there was a real focus on how do we get more women into stem to engineering into maths um and and some of those campaigns have been successful and i think you know economics is only waking up now to the the fact that it needs to tackle that um so i think there is a, there's a certain amount of uh of catching up and i think you know there is a there's a real a challenge i think in that economists probably don't explain well enough what we do and what we you know all the sort of careers that are open uh, to economists, I think there is a, there's a real perceptions gap. So people, you know, think of economists and they think of the city, they think of financial services, they think about uh, economists in in banks, and that is one part of economics. But it's a really actually small part of what economists do. It's so much about how countries grow, uh, you know, what it means for, you know, how do you make sure that people have jobs and opportunities and uh, education policy, health policy. I mean, there are so many issues where uh, economists have have a voice and uh, and an important, you know, help to shape the sort of future direction. But I don't think we're, you know, we see enough of that. Um, and so I think that's sort of affecting uh, how students are are choosing what subjects uh, to study. I, I think you've got to have, you know, a two pronged strategy. I think you've got to look at both. You've got to make it clear. Uh, to students when they are choosing that economics is still an option for them at university even if they haven't studied it uh, at school and being really clear that you know you don't have to do maths you don't have to do economics at a level to be able to go on uh, and study economics at, at university you know of course I think it is you know you want to encourage women to continue to study maths throughout uh, their career at school because I think that does open up a range of, of occupations uh, to you in, in the future. Um, but I think being clear, there are lots of routes into economics is important. Um, and then I think you have to tackle the availability of, of economics and, and how it's taught at state schools. That's the real challenge is there aren't, you know, it just isn't offered uh, at enough state schools. And, and obviously, you know, state schools are under a lot of pressure in terms of the curriculum and, and finding teachers. So I think in, in a way, I think the economics profession has a duty to sort of help secondary school teachers feel confident in teaching economics even if they are you know haven't been trained academic economists um, and I think that's something we really have to to look at so that we're both getting women studying economics at a level as a route uh, into a future career but but also allowing that pathway uh, into economics 